All right, guys, he's in here. Welcome back to the channel for another dislike video. So in today's video, we're going to be going over a checklist of all the things that you should be doing as a free-to-play player to maximise your value from dislike. Now, obviously, this was going to apply to anyone, not just free-to-play players. If you are a whale, then you will still get value from doing this every day. But obviously, Free-to-play players have to maximise every opportunity they've got to get currency and free stuff in any kind of gacha game, okay? So, first of all, what we're going to start off with is, is the basics. You want to basically be going into this gold shop every six hours, okay? It refreshes about every six hours. Now, obviously, people have lives. You're probably not going to do that every six hours, but at least once a day um, after six hours have passed, I would check in here because you can get things like gold records, you can get energy refills. Um, there's some really good things that you can get from this gold shop, and it is a good idea to get into the habit of checking it because... These resources are finite, you don't get an unlimited amount of them, and if you just simply check in here, you might have something sitting here like a gold record, like an energy refill, and it's going to be very, very good and very vital to your growth in the game, okay? Now, another thing that you need to keep an eye on is obviously this section as well, your bounties, okay? Now, your bounties do give you various different rewards. You can get your crystals, you can get stamina, but what I would advise you not to do is don't overload on them, okay? Some people, what they might do is just open a few of these at the same time, and then it can become a bit of a challenge to get them all done without them expiring, okay? Um, so I would do these one at a time, and um, just basically try not to forget about them. They're fairly simple, they're fairly straightforward, and like I say, you can get yourself some vital rewards, like additional free stamina every day. And a lot of people are complaining about stamina, so this is a way for you to get some more. Okay, now what you also want to do is you want to go into your friends every single day and send everyone gifts Okay, and also go to your friend assist and claim your little love heart that's down here What that will do is that will give you a currency that allows you to go to the friendship shop And then from the friendship shop you can buy stamina You can buy random wish stickers which we'll get to in a couple of minutes And you can also buy rare starmon I wouldn't recommend buying the rare starmon as you can get them fairly easily through farming Okay, but the first two I would definitely try and pick these up every day, okay? Now, if you are in a club, which I do recommend you get into, okay? Get into your club, make sure, I can't stress this enough, as someone who is a club leader, um, make sure you do your tasks every day, okay? The tasks are fairly simple, you have three main tasks, and then you have a weekly task, okay? Um, depending on how active your club is, that weekly task will probably disappear instantly. But make sure you're doing your daily missions, okay? As what this will do is this will give an activeness score for your club, and it'll give you access to these additional rewards, okay? So it's literally passive rewards for doing things you're generally going to be doing in-game anyway, okay? Now for doing this, you are going to get these Okay, which are club points, and that gives you access to the club shop. And from the club shop, you can get some additional things. You can get ripples for Melanie, okay, who I bought all of them just now. You can get XP boosters. In the future, they're going to be quite important, but right now, we obviously have XP up, so you don't need to worry about them too much. You can buy gold records every time it resets. You can buy elite experience mon, and when you're club gets to a high enough level you'll be able to buy a second gold record so making sure you've got a currency stash built up is going to help you because you can buy these useful things later on down the line okay now one of the other things that you can also do every single day is if you go to the plaza you go to the plaza you get a daily free gift. Now, I've obviously got mine because I, I do these things each day. If you click your daily free gift, it's going to give you a free stamina refill and it's also going to give you some gold, which again is very vital to your growth and keep you going in the game. Um, what you also want to do is to get some more resources. You want to go to... So you go to your daily tasks, which is your quests, okay? There's lots of different things that you can do here. So complete a bounty mission, give out friendship points, take part in one expedition, win any battle in point war. Very, very simple things. By doing, I think it's probably about 10 of these, you get enough to get all your chests. When you got all your chests, there's an example of what you get. You get Starmon, you get experience mon, you get gold, you get pass points, which is going to level up your pass. You get um, crystals, you get a random and wish sticker you get divine option packs and you also get even more stamina so make sure you're doing that every day now i'm going to show you quickly what these stickers are for 
If you're in a club, you go to help. People will have made requests for certain things, okay? You can't use these stickers for anything, they're no use to you. So what you do is, once you've got these stickers, you go into here, okay, you're looking for one of them. Who's looking for purple? You're looking for purple. Okay, thank you. I get some more club points, and then we'll give you the other one. You get some more club points. That's me just get 60 club points by wishing, giving those um, wish medals. Now what basically happens is at the end of the day, if you've got all your stamps, which I think I've had every single day, you then get a fragment, and with enough fragments you can spin on the wheel and you can get a character of a specific type, okay? The only one you can't get is Shimmer, which is unfortunate, but you can obviously get the other types no problem at all okay now what you also want to do is you want to go to point war even if you don't like point war just do it once do it once a day if you do it once a day you'll be able to get the first win which gives you some extra stuff saving up enough of the crystals or point war tokens whatever you want to call them and um, you're going to be able to buy some stuff in here like gold records this this legendary abilimon they're very hard to come by and um, i think you should make that your priority every month to get enough of these to get one of these at least every month if you can't do anything else that's what you want to do just do aim for that every month if you struggle in point war there's always two kind of easier challenges at the bottom it won't give you any points for ranks but what it will do is it will give you points for the shop okay so even if you just do them you get unlimited refreshes so you could just jump back in and take an easier challenge on and get yourself more of these points okay now there's two more things that you should be doing each day and that is the dj contest some people might not like the DJ contest, I can completely understand that, um, but you can literally AFK this if you want. You can start, just let it fail, don't care, just let it fail, and then at the end you'll be able to collect this little box up here, that's going to give you record shards, it's going to give you other rewards, and it's definitely worth your while doing it. Like I say, if you enjoy the game, play it, if not, just let it play, just let it play. You get a really bad score, but you'll still be able to claim the daily reward from it, so it's definitely worth it from that point of view. The last thing that you should try and remember to do, and some people do forget to do this quite a lot, is if you go down to Trials, and you go to Expedition, Make sure every day you are sending out your expeditions, okay? Now, mines are currently full. Um, you get good rewards from these, and they do not tie up your characters. Now, some people probably think, oh, I don't want to send away my best characters because then I won't be able to use them. It doesn't work like that. Like a lot of things in this game, you can use your characters in multiple things at the same time. So, take your best espers that will fill the criteria. Usually, it asks for each of the traits at a specific level if you can fulfill that you'll get like a 20 25 percent bonus so send your best espers to fill that in and then every day you're going to be getting more passive rewards from this now i tend to focus on the infernus and the flow runner i tend to go for ascension materials more than anything else um I mean that's kind of what I go for but obviously if you want to try and get gear you can drop them in these type of ones at the top okay and um, make sure you do that every single day because all of that stuff it's completely hassle free it's not going to take a lot of your time and it's going to give you more opportunities to grow within this light so guys if there's anything you take away from this video it's be proactive with your different things available in game maximize your rewards maximize what you can take from this game and you'll just get stronger and stronger anyway i've been hazing my son's starting to get noisy so i'm going to have to go thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the next dislike video dudes peace out and i'll see you later bye